Hello guys. So today I wanted to share with you guys my makeup collection or what's in my makeup bag. This kind of all has like a theme to it. I like makeup that like the packaging is pretty. I don't know, that's just part of what I like about makeup and like what makes me want to buy a certain product. Most of this is from my mom, so thank you mom for either passing this down or buying it for me. There's only a couple pieces here that I actually like purchased myself, but yeah, let's get into this. So first I have my makeup bag, which is very important. You need a makeup bag that holds all your stuff and that is easy and accessible. I have this one, I got it from Shein. It has a zipper. There's not too much to say about this. It works very well and it's the perfect size to hold like all my products, which is great. I'm gonna go in the order of how I apply my makeup. First we have my concealer. I love this Glossier one. It's like reflective, so I don't know if you can see it. This is a product that I purchased myself. It works super good, it's like $18. Um, it looks really small for almost $20, but it lasts a long time. It's kind of like an oily consistency, which works great for my skin because I have drier skin. So this is amazing, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's really helped my dark circles. And I got the shade G9. Next, I usually go in with powder, and I love Bare Minerals. Any of their powder is great, translucent, or if it's like a tinted shade, I like it. Their loose powder is just amazing. This is the original Mineral Veil. I think I bought this at TJ Maxx. It was really cheap, which is great because their products are like actually good for your skin, so I don't feel like I'm just caking on stuff when I wear it. Next, we have blush and bronzers. So first, the easiest thing to bring if I'm like going somewhere with my makeup is just to bring a palette because it's like all here in one and this one is beautiful. It's from Too Faced. It's their natural face palette and just look like I love pink recently. Kind of like girlier feminine stuff like as far as colors, that's what I'm really into. Right now, right now it always changes. Gold, beautiful, little like heart clasp. I love this so much. If I'm not traveling and I can just use as many products as I please, um, I love this Chanel bronzer. This is one of the things my mom gave me that she no longer used. It's really nice. It's like a doughy consistency. It literally feels like cookie dough. Um, it's like very moist like that. I hate that word, but that's the only way to like describe it. Creamy. That's a better way. I don't know how many shades Chanel bronzer comes in, but this one's pretty light for my skin tone. It takes a lot to cake it on. Um, which I kind of like because I don't want just like a line for bronzer, so it's nice. And I also like how it's not sparkly. Sometimes I don't want like a sparkly bronzer, so it's very, very natural. And I love this. Next for blush, I have two different blushes that I really have been loving. And again, like I mentioned, a lot of this stuff is pink. It's either pink or black or gold. That's like my colors. Um, this is the Rare Beauty blush. I love her products. I love Selena Gomez. This blush is just beautiful, like the packaging and everything. It looks very like antique -y to me or like like vintage and so I loved that. I got the shade Nearly Mauve and it works really well on my skin tone. It's very like light and pinky. And I think depending on your skin tone, it will definitely look very different, which I think is cool because if you apply it in the summer or the winter, it could be a different shade of pink to fit your skin tone. I don't know, I like it. If I want more of a sparkly kind of blush, I like this Too Faced one. I love like parked things um, and I think this packaging is beautiful. Very sparkly and I don't know if you can see it on camera but it has three different shades of pink on there which is really nice for if you want to go for more like brighter pink or more dull. Kind of has a different variety to fit your needs which I think is really cool. It's showing up really weird on camera but in person it's like a pink and gold. It's not orange. I don't know why it's being like that on camera. Now for mascara and eyeliner. Eyeliner is the one thing that I still need to find like a cute packaging for and just one that I genuinely like. This one is I think Wet n Wild and oh, LA Colors and it's okay. Um, it's not like amazing. I don't know. I haven't tried a ton of eyeliners. I mainly have gotten um, like ones from Walmart. Can't talk. This one also doesn't come off which is hard um, so it's kind of annoying to wash your face when this like stays on like a tattoo. So I need to find one that's like a little bit more washable. But other than that, this one's okay. I wouldn't like, necessarily like recommend it though. Next mascara. This one is like my holy grail. I've used this one since middle school. 
It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. It's really great for like lengthening and volume. It's amazing and I like the packaging as well. It's gold so I like that. This one I more recently got, again for my mom, is the Chanel uh, Mascara. It has a very skinny brush. You can see that. It's very just skinny and cylinder. Um, but I think it's great for your like bottom lashes and stuff to get in those corners. You know, it's better than like a bulky brush bulky brush so I like it and um, I use it too when I'm trying to do my bottom lashes lastly for the lipsticks that I use I have quite a few so the best cheapest that I have purchased and repurchased multiple times the Burt's Bees this is a tinted chapstick I like this because I have very dry skin and dry lips and I can't have like a what's the word matte lipstick that is not that would not work well on my lips so i like that this is very i'm holding that weird this is very moisturizing and um i get this shade is red defila i don't know how to pronounce it but i liked the shade rose um that's what i liked on my lips it was good next we have a few other this is the dior lip glow this is amazing very hydrating and i think this is in the color rose as well it's I think it is. It doesn't say on here, but it's rosewood. That's what the shade of it. It is a beautiful color and it just really, really hydrates your lips. So I love it. Next we have this Gucci one. This is t pretty tinted, um, which I love. It's a lipstick. It's also very moisturizing and it looks really red on camera, but I feel like on your lips, it's a little bit more pinky. Not too much though. Um, so it's kind of like a red, pink, purple tint, which I love. Kind of more natural. On my lips purple doesn't sound natural but I think it's pretty much the shade I have on right now so it's pretty good I love it and I just loved the packaging so much it's like if I were to pick a package to describe me it would be this I love like the white and the gold and the little pink flowers it's beautiful then I have like two travel size small ones I like I have this YSL one it's more of like a nude lip um, and it's in the shade 70 whatever that shade is um, it's very cute and easy to like put in your purse. Then I have this Christian Dior lipstick as well. This is more nude than the YSL. It's in the shade 100, whatever that name of that one is. Also very beautiful and these mini sizes are just very convenient. So that is my makeup collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please let me know any other videos you guys want to see. Um, and I will try to film those. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.